Hi Taurus, thank you so much for joining me. I hope that you are doing really, really well. And here in the U.S. this week we celebrate Thanksgiving. So I want to wish you a very happy Thanksgiving and hope that you have safe travels and an enjoyable holiday. With this weekly spread, we will take a look at the cards. We'll get a sense of the awareness for the week, guidance and possible outcomes. I'll also choose a couple of Oracle cards for additional information. So let's just go ahead and get started with your reading. Okay, so we have the Nine of Pentacles. We have the Emperor, Major Arcana. And we also have the Hermit, Major Arcana. So the Nine of Pentacles represents this woman here. She's standing in her garden. And on her arm is a falcon on her gloved hand. And behind her, we see lots of fruit. We see lots of pentacles. We get a real true sense of her abundance, of the comfort and the privacy of her home. And so perhaps the backstory to this illustration is that she has made good decisions, that she has uh, sacrificed perhaps, or has known when to play and when to work really hard. There's a... A, a big idea here of independence, of doing the things that you need to do in order to create and to build the comfort and the security, the wealth or the prosperity that you seek. And so everybody's version of that is different, but there's a real sense of being very capable. And here she is, she's in lux luxury. She's also taking the time to enjoy the fruits of her labor. Here's the, the hobby with the, with the falcon. And pretty much she probably controls the mo you know, controls this falcon, falcon and that she's trained him. So there's, a, there's this sense of control as well, which is you're in control of the path and the actions that you take in order for you to gain, uh, you know, the comfort or, or to uh, the career that you choose, the path that you walk, you know, it's in your hands. And this represents, yes, that when you are fortunate to do the things that you need to do to get there, don't forget to enjoy what it is, you know, the, the, the fun part of getting there. Work, 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 work uh, can certainly provide a lot of material comfort, but you might be missing out on the zest for life, you know, on the real spirit of living, which is following your passions. So there's a strong sense here of self-sufficiency and independence. So with this very strong energy, here we have some more confident energy as well with the emperor who is a fair leader, who's benevolent for the most part, as long as the collective follows the rules and is obedient, they're obedient, and uh, he'll take care of everyone. So often, uh, you know, the emperor with the sense of rules, we're looking toward structure and organization, which is providing those things in order for people to not live in chaos and to be safe and secure. So the emperor could be a message for the day, which would be to use your experience, use your wisdom, use your leadership skills to tackle any situations that you face. This emperor could also suggest that maybe you have meetings with someone who is an emperor type of figure within your life, whether it's family, whether it's at the office or within your church or whomever that you could be interacting with someone who has a lot of power and has a lot of expertise and also has a lot of wisdom from uh, of being in that role for many years. So here we have independence and success. We have leadership, maybe the need to be organized or to find some structure or to uh, 
rely on your own confident self and your own wisdom and experience to handle things? And if not, then find someone who is experienced. And then we have the, the lantern, the, the, the wise old man with the lantern, which is the uh, direction for you to turn that lantern inward and to, to think about what's going on within your life and to take time away from maybe other people or situations. And again, maybe you've been really busy. Maybe you've had a lot of commitments, social activities, and maybe you just need to take a step back. Maybe you need to think about some things that are going on within your life. Maybe you have to think about relationships here, strong minded people within your environment, and that you just need some time to reflect for yourself. When we reflect for ourselves, we gain that insight. We are, again, enlightened. And then we can hopefully take that, um, that information and use it to serve ourselves better. I'll also say that as the emperor could be someone wise and experienced within your environment, you know, the hermit could also be you know, it's the man on top of the mountain with all the answers. That perhaps there's someone who really is uh, a guru for you that you could get some insight from as well. But I feel that this is a day of of uh, appreciating your independence and your success and how you've gotten there. And again, uh, perhaps continuing with leadership, confidence, staying organized, staying on top of things. And at some point, uh, don't forget to, re- to pull back a bit, give yourself some time to reflect and to use that information to help, you know, help guide your next steps. So let's take a look at the numbers. We have nine and four is 13 and another nine. So 13 and nine is 22. Let me just double check my math. Okay. Yeah, it looks like it's 22. And 22 is the master number. It's the master builder. And that master builder is really the architect, which is if you dream it, and if you plan it, and if you organize it, you are able to bring that idea into reality. You're able to implement it. And how do you implement it? You implement it through your talents and through your abilities. Everything that you've, uh, you know, that makes up you, which is experience and knowledge and your special talents. It also goes to a sense of having self, the self-confidence and the faith to do it. And so, you know, I think there's a lot of self-confidence between these two cards. So let's get a little more information from the Oracle cards. Balance, I bring a state of perfect harmony into my world and I do so without judgment. So the balance is, again, the balance of everything going on in your life. You know what works best for you. And interesting, the, the, the piece here about I do so without judgment is don't be hard on yourself and trust your instincts of what you need in order to stay in balance. So this is what I have for you for the day. I hope that you found something helpful. If you did, please subscribe if you haven't already. Like, share, or comment, and I'll see you tomorrow for another reading. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.